like we say here on the budget, don't ask the channel, don't buy the thing, fix the thing. If your oxygen sensor is choked and pegging off the dial, just clean it. If you've got an expensive thick socket, you might well cut a slit in it for the wire, but if you've got this cheap Chinese garbage, you'll have to drill a hole in it and take the plug off the wire and pass the wire through, or else it'll split open. This thing's blacker than El Diablo's shadow and so choked it only gives one reading, Max Rich. All you have to do is clamp it in a vise and vaporise the crap with extreme heat. Don't be shy and give it a lot of heat because you have to actually burn the crap off the inner centre probe in those little holes. If you're tight assing it with an empty cylinder, this could take 10 minutes. But don't be shy, just hit it from all angles and hit it multiple times and be 100% sure everything's burnt right off. I'm only showing heating up on one side because this is boring, but you have to go around the back and burn all that crap off. If I wasn't tight assing it so much, I'd get a new cylinder and have this burnt off in 5 minutes. Clean metal with only ash right at the base where it couldn't get thoroughly hot. David Visard used to tell stories of using this on leaded fueled cars in the 80s because that's all they had. He said you'd get 10 minutes on a dyno, then you'd have to take it out, clean it and put it back and do another 10 minutes. Oxygen sensor working again. 10 minutes and free.